Hello everyone, Sarah here with, oh, there we go. Okay, it was reconnecting. I uh, wanted to come on live and answer a couple of questions because I had someone comment on my recent video about blame. When we have someone to blame, we are experiencing shame. That is what happens when there's a connection to blame. There's a connection to the experience of shame and shame is an experience. It is something that energetically we experience in our body. We can often feel it in our body physically. And so many people that I work with say it feels like knots in my stomach. It feels like a tightness in my chest. It feels like a constriction in my throat, rocks in my throat, whatever it is, your mind will will give you the words, will give you the pictures, the analogies, the metaphors for how you experience shame personally. And we all experience shame personally differently because we're all different, but we're all the same because we're all different. And that is one of people's greatest fears is that they're not going to fit in. They're not going to belong. They're not going to be worthy and deserving of being lovable or good enough because they're different. But the very fact that you're different means that you're the same from everyone else who feels different. So if we all feel different, we're all the same. Therefore, we're all connected through those differences. But when you are experiencing blame, when you have someone to blame for your pain, when you can look back at your past and say, well, it's because of them. For example, in this comment, uh, my life has been greatly affected by the evil I endured and I'm almost 76, regardless of how old you are. If you were saying that your life and all of its shittiness and suckiness is because of someone else. You are blaming that person for your life. No one else is to blame for your life. Your life is yours and yours alone. And you're not impacted by what happened to you. You're impacted by your own unconscious beliefs. There are people that can go through the most horrific, horrifying, like ungodly, unspeakable events and experiences and can come out with gratitude, can come through that with joy, with appreciation, with connection to the divine, with connection to purpose, with connection to forgiveness, with seeing how they went through that for a reason so that they could learn to open up their hearts and love and forgive and really, really, really be deeply rooted in gratitude, grounded in purpose. And there are people who can go through that same situation, same storyline, same plot, different characters, but come out saying, my life sucks. My life is horrible and can come out and come through that projecting all of that onto other people and saying, I endured evil. And so I, I have all this shame. I have all this blame. I have all this pain because of what was done to me. It is not what was done to you. It is not the evil you endured. And so the studying and the diving into narcissistic videos is going to do nothing for you, but continue to keep you deeply rooted in pain, deeply rooted in blame, deeply rooted in the story that someone did something to you and trying to figure them out and why they did that to you and why they're like that. You honestly don't give a shit. You truly, really, you really, really don't. What you care about is not being connected to that, is to release the blame, to free yourself from the blame, to free yourself from the shame, from your own pain, from your own hurts, from your own resentment. So studying about other people is not going to do anything to set you free. What you are most impacted and influenced by are your own unconscious beliefs. The beliefs that you have about yourself, the beliefs that are deeply rooted, that form, that shape, that mold your identity, who you are, how you see yourself, how you feel about yourself, how you process the feelings and the emotions that you have when you go through situations, through relationships, when you connect through your relationships, that is what you care about. And when you're connected to blaming others, a person, a situation, an experience, you're connected energetically to shame, to guilt, 
And that keeps you connected to your own unconscious beliefs that you deserve that, that you'll always feel that, that it'll always be this way, that things are never going to change. And so you stay connected to that through the unconscious belief and the blame, through the shame. You see how it's all connected, it's all related. So if you're studying other people, trying to figure them out, you're taking that energy and giving it away. You're taking that power and you're putting it in someone else's hands going here, have my energy, have my power, have my time, have par a part of my life, a piece of my life. And if that part, a piece of your life has already experienced pain, you're going to continue to experience more of it. What you truly want is for your unconscious beliefs to be in alignment with your desires. You desire to be free from pain. You desire to live in joy, happiness, abundance. You want and need your unconscious beliefs to be in alignment with that because if they're not, then they're out. If your unconscious beliefs are in alignment with blame, with pain, with shame, with because of what you went through and blaming someone else for it, you're going to continue to be connected to it. And what you truly desire deeply on a soul level, on a cellular level, level, on a physical level, on an energetic, on an emotional, on a spiritual level, is to truly believe and be connected with your worth, with your value, to see yourself as good enough, as more than good enough, to see yourself as incredible, to see yourself as capable, to see yourself as able, to see yourself as having a purpose and a place in this world and the things that you went through, you were meant to go through. And you had the strength to go through those and you had the strength to come to them and see, I still have worth, I still have value, I still have a place in this world, I still have a purpose, I am good enough. And that actually magnified the belief in myself. So I am grateful for going through that. I no longer blame them for doing that to me. I no longer have any shame or guilt connected to that. I have fully forgiven and fully released energetically and disconnected from the people, the events, the circumstances, the situations. It is truly in my past and I no longer dwell in my past and think, hmm, what could I have done differently? What should I have done? What if I would have done would have made it better? It happened the way it was supposed to happen. And it happened because it was meant to happen to show you how strong, how powerful, how wonderful, how capable you are to use you, to empower you, to deepen your purpose. And your purpose is not rooted in blaming someone else. Your purpose is not rooted in shame. Your purpose is not rooted in, in trying to make someone else pay because they hurt you. That is not a part of your purpose. And if you're still energetically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually connected to that, you've still got more work to do. Your unconscious mind, your physical body may be screaming at you, trying to shake you, wake you up, get your attention. I want to be in alignment with goodness. I want you to be in alignment with experiencing the incredible things that are literally surrounding you, yet you're blind to see them. You're not seeing them. And when you wake up spiritually, when you wake up unconsciously from the slumber, from the sleep, and when you get out of that place of blame, you will begin loving your life, seeing your life for how incredible it is, how beautiful it is, because you only get one. And if you are connected to blaming other people, you're missing out on life. You're missing out on the joy and the beauty and the abundance. So if you're studying evilness or narcissistic videos and the evilness and the toxicity and you're staying connected to it, you're truly missing out on, on the beauty and the joy of life. You really are because when you're there, you're there. And so you can be here physically but you're somewhere else mentally, you're somewhere else spiritually, you're somewhere else energetically. You are connected to something and someone else and that is keeping you connected to blaming someone else and it's keeping you disconnected from truly embodying and being present and fully in, in the vast unlimited joy and beauty of life. So that is freedom. That is freedom is when your unconscious beliefs, those 95% 
of your mind that, that is connected to everything else are in alignment with the things that you desire. Freedom, peace, tranquility, the ability to feel your feelings and not make your feelings wrong. The ability to have a powerful, positive inner voice and dialogue that supports you, that motivates you, that encourages you, that lifts you up, that energizes you, that when you get up in the morning, you are like, today is a fucking good day. It is a good day to have a good day. Why? Because there is a, a heart that is beating in my chest because there is breath moving into my mouth, going to my lungs, literally allowing me to experience everything in life. Instead of waking up, let me study some more toxic videos today. Mm -mm. That is not the way that life was designed to live and that is not your purpose here. And that is not freedom. It truly isn't. I lived in that for far too long until my unconscious beliefs got in alignment with my dreams, with my hopes, with my goals and my desires. And then boom, 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 like shit started happening. Stuff that I didn't even know I had prayed about. Like stuff started happening in the way of goodness, in the way of abundance, in the way of joy, in the way of holy shit. Like, wow, this is my life. I'm fucking free. I don't have to deal with that bullshit anymore because the shit in here was cleaned up and cleared out. And so when you're seeing crap out there and you're like, oh my God, this is, this is life. You got to clean out the crap in here. That is a sign to you from your unconscious mind going, hello, get in here. We got some stuff to clean out of here because you want that stuff out there and you want to be deeply connected to it. And you want to be deeply connected to joy and to passion and to experiences and, and feel safe and trust in your relationships and understand that this thing you're calling perfect is an illusion. This thing that you're calling perfect is a perception. You want to be able to see yourself and experience yourself for all the goodness that you are, that really is inside of you, that is screaming and dying to get you to see, hello, it's time to wake up. And you're going to continue to be in a slumber and sleep and feeling numb to life if you're studying the toxicity of other people. That's just a fact. And I can say this with, with truth from the bottom of my heart because I've been there too. And when you get out of there and into here and deeply connected to who you really are and get your unconscious beliefs in alignment with that, it's truly like magic. Uh, it, life starts to get to be way better than you could have ever imagined it being. And it gets to be this or something better. And you can state affirmations and you can do your journaling and you can do your manifestations and you can do your yoga or you can do your walk or you can just freaking listen to music and feel so deeply grateful that you are fully here, that you are fully present and that that evilness from the past had nothing on you. It was there to teach you. It was there to guide you. And it was there to tell you, go within. And when you do, you're going to experience that. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for finally seeing you. For how incredible. For how amazing. For for how purposeful you truly are. And everything changes when you do that. And you stop putting your attention, your focus, and awareness on the evilness and, and the blaming of other people. And the things that they did to you. Those things were not done to you. They were done for you. They were done for you to wake your ass up and to get it up and to get in here and get all of your unconscious beliefs in alignment with that so that you can live fully for yourself first and then for others. To be in support of others, to say, come on, let's go. We've got this. And to lead and move and go together and not just to wake yourself up and then think you're self-righteous and leave everyone else behind, but to really, really show and empower people. If I can do this, you can do this. Look, I went through some shit, but look at, look, look at me now with the sense of if I can do this, you can do this too. If I have the ability to, to move through this and, and to really, really see the beauty and the joy in myself and in life and the things that we went through, even though they were different and they were for a reason, they happened for us and not to us. And we're, we're getting out of that victim shit, the victimness. No, 
that is a thing in the past that is those are words and phrases we used to say to ourselves but we were wrong we were wrong we were believing lies and when we connect with other people who have forgiven themselves for believing the lies that they used to believe about themselves for for the things they used to say about themselves that only hurt themselves and others you release you're free you forgive the blame you forgive the blame and then you're free from the shame and a lot of people say i can't forgive this it's not to say that that was okay it's to say that you're okay and it's to say that you always have been and you always will be and it's to see your purpose and it's to see your reason for living and breathing and existing and it's believing in that and it's believing in everything that you are capable of deserving of desiring it's to really really embody and be fully present in your life so needed to share that because if you were still studying narcissistic videos and toxic videos and i've got a lot of them and they're informational but honestly they're useless i can fully say that because they're useless what is useful is deeply connecting to the truth of who you are and breaking free from the lies that you've told yourself about who you're not because of who you're blaming so with all the love all the compassion all the gratitude sending you so much love and hope you love this video if you don't and you're triggered by it remember triggers are teachers contemplate this contemplate what it was about the words that you heard that got you rocked up that got your socks and your panties all bunched up <laughs> because there's lessons there there's learnings there there's opportunity for growth there there's opportunity for contemplation for introspection what was that? That was, oof, I didn't like that. I did not like that. What's there for me? Because that is a gift that when you open, you will see where you need to go, where to explore, really what matters to you, what means the most to you. Oh my God, she triggered me. I don't believe in myself. What? Whew. What is that? And you'll feel it oftentimes physically. And and that's the the deep, 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 unconscious work that I work through when I when I'm connecting to working with clients privately you go through the experience of it yourself through transforming past pain to present power powerful powerful 12 week immersion program and you have powerful RTT sessions and audios transformational homework but if you were someone who's like screw that I want to expedite this that's where the private work really makes the greatest impact and most significant difference is to clear out the crap from your unconscious mind and you can't do that consciously it doesn't happen because they're separate entities they're separate consciousness is thought is thinking I don't know what that is I wonder what it is you know there was a time in my past where I know that in the last relationship or I know that growing up I went through this but those are all thinking processes really deeply connecting unconsciously with what's happened is not a thinking process it's an experience the beliefs the foundation of your identity and who you say you are and how you say you're capable of moving through things that is an unconscious experience and then your thoughts get in alignment with it then you can see yourself and go wow even with a wonky eye i am fucking beautiful i am powerful i am amazing i am enough i deserve healthy whole powerful relationships and then you get to experience that because you're declaring it over your life and your unconscious beliefs are in alignment with you deserving it and being worthy of it and anything else that comes into your world that's not in alignment with that like it's like an energetic bounce it's like boop out of here done bye nope <laughs> that is not that is not something that that has the ability or staying power here it's just not so it's like an energetic repelling so that is what i desire for you but no one can want it for you more than you want it for you. So there has to be a desire. I want it for myself. And maybe if I'm not experiencing it yet, there's a desire there. And then through the just desire, there's a deepening. Let's go there. Let's remove what is stopping me. Let's remove what is blocking me. And let's get into alignment with my unconscious beliefs so that I can get into alignment with living the life that I've always dreamed of.
So when you're ready for that, let's connect. You can find out more. I'll leave my uh, website and all the information for all the different programs, courses, one-to-one -one work, the application for that. It's all there. So sending you guys so much love. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.